Latanya Robinson. Thank you for watching In Camera Review. During my time in the um, civil rights field, I've only came across you, uh, obviously, are one of them. A few women who do police misconduct cases. Uh, do you come across a lot of them in, in your on the plaintiff side in your field? No, it. I don't know why that is. Really, very it. Very few women. Very few women or men of color, really. I mean, in the Bay Area, we're lucky to have kind of a more diverse um, community of people handling police misconduct cases. But when you look at it, at the community nationally, it seems to be very white and male. Um, and I'm not, I'm not sure why that is. Mm -hmm. Have you had to deal with a lot of sexism as a, as a female oh. attorney? I'm yeah. sure you have. <laughs> Hey, how do you deal with that? <laughs> well, getting the spray hair helped. <laughs> oh, <laughs> definitely, okay. Okay. definitely, yeah, definitely um, not as bad as mm -hmm. when I first started. I mean, I would, I had judges who refused to call me by my name and called me young lady. I had an mm -hmm. expert when I was a brand new lawyer who told me if he knew I was coming to a meeting with him instead of our my boss, who was this uh, old white guy, he would have gotten us some porn. Wow. Okay. I had, a defense, I had a defense lawyer call me a bitch. I'm sorry. Just, just, just okay. <laughs> in a deposition. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and little lady and young lady and all of that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I'm hoping that with the increase of women generally in the profession that things are getting better. Um, and I, you know, all of us stand on the shoulders of giants like Randy McGinn, my friend in Albuquerque, when she was a new lawyer, she had a judge who refused to call women Ms. She called, he called women lawyers Mr. <laughs> I mean, so <laughs> bad. that wasn't as bad for me as it's been for Randy. I'm hoping things will be not as bad for younger women lawyers as, as it was for me. <laughs> I get a lot of sweethearts and I just, yeah. I'm like, I, you know, I don't, I don't even know what to do at, at this point. I'm like, whatever. It's just, you know, my my approach has been to just beat them, just mm -hmm. win, just mm -hmm. beat them. If they're gonna underestimate you, fine. Underestimate me, great. Right. To me, I'm gonna I'm gonna whoop you. <laughs> you know? Right, right. And I think that's the best. Like, okay, I'm the sweetheart. I'm the little kid. Yeah. Let me show you what the little kid can do. That's right. <laughs> Uh, let me get to my pro tips. Uh, so what are five things which are necessary? And we kind of alluded to this earlier. Uh, five things that you think are necessary for success in your practice area. Well, I think, you know, the three we talked about, um, work ethic, passion, and compassion are really important. But, and like you raised, self-care is really super important. I mean, I think it, there's always an invitation on the defense side because they bill by the hour. So every little fight there, yeah. it makes them a lot of money, right? So mm -hmm. I feel like it's important for us to be wise warriors and really pick our fights and um, not get on the stage with the defense lawyer. Um, you know, and then just, if you, sorry, there's an ambulance. <laughs> A lot going on in Oakland. <laughs> um, but I think it's really important to just have a commitment to this kind of work. I mean, if, if people are getting into this work because they think they're going to make a lot of money so they can buy a Bentley and go golfing, they probably should pick another line of work. You really have a heart commitment and devotion to be able to put in the hours and, um, you know, see the pretty horrific stuff you have to see in this kind of work. If you saw... So uh, if you had to do it all over again, or if you had to choose a second career choice, what would it have been? Other than, I had, other than, 
it's kind of the only, I'm not qualified to do anything else. Uh, what about teaching? Oh, no. Well, no, I think if I, if I weren't a lawyer, I would probably be a writer. My name is Lindsay Lockwood, and this is In Camera Review.